Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add the footstep sound component to other animations. And I'm going to be using the open world locomotion system asset as a perfect example. As you can see here, I have footsteps generating for basic walking, running, sprinting, but we're also going to be adding it to other actions like vaulting. All right, so let's get into it. First things first, open up a new project and let's add the component into it as well. Next, let's open up the base blueprint and add in the FS component. Now let's open up the mesh for the base character, then go to the blue skeleton. Then we'll go to the skeleton from the components folder and I'll have them side by side here. On the right, I'm copying both of the sockets and then clicking on the root of the OLW skeleton and pasting them. Now if I type footstep, you can see the sockets are on this skeleton positioned perfectly. Now let's close the skeleton since we're done with them. Let's check out the animations we want to add footsteps to. I'll start with walk. So open it up and I'd like to add a new track so I can easily see the different notifies if animations end up having a bunch of them. So let's test this out and here we go. When my character walks, he plays audio and spawns particles. Beautiful. The process is the same for run and sprint. But if you notice, when I sprint, nothing happens. The reason is because you need to add the word sprint from the animation name to the footstep components array. Let's head back into the base blueprint, select the FS component, and minimize or scroll down to the array group where you have walk and run. This step here is the reason why the sprint animation didn't spawn any particles or make any sounds. I added this requirement to allow you to differentiate the size of the particle that would play based on the animation triggering the notify. Since our character is sprinting, let's add it to the run array. So expand it, add a new entry, and add the word sprint. Now when we hit play and sprint, you'll see the character now spawns the same particles as when they were running. If we instead move sprint to the walk array, you'll see that the character spawns smaller footsteps when sprinting, which doesn't look right, but you get the idea. So let's undo that change and move it back to the run array. Okay, but what if we want to add it to some other animations like vaulting? Well, the steps are exactly the same, nice and easy. Let's search for mantle within the UE5 folder and open up each animation sequence and add the AN notify at each point where it looks like the player's feet are hitting the surface. We'll do this to each one and test it out. Wait, it was literally just where- oh, no, no, no. Don't you remember, we gotta add the name of the animation to the arrays. Lucky for us, each of these have the word mantle in it, so we only gotta do it once. And I personally feel like mantling doesn't require that large of a footstep, so let's add it in the walk array. Now that we're testing it out, we can see that it kind of works. Only one footstep is playing instead of two. So let's edit it. And here's actually a pro tip for you. You don't have to stop the game engine when editing notifies. Have the game still running and the animations open right next to it, and then you can adjust them as you play. That way you don't have to play, try it out, stop over and over again. From here, you'll just wanna keep playing with it. Try throwing on a bunch of notifies and adjust and remove them until it's to your liking. One thing I'd like to mention Mentioned, with the open world locomotion system right off the bat when you mantle sometimes you're so close to the edge that the footstep component line trace isn't picking up the floor it's a setting that you can edit where your character will be pushed more forward whenever they mantle that way their feet will always be touching solid ground after messing around with it for a little bit these are the results that we got and I'm content with it but yeah that's mantling and you can add this to things like sliding as well here I open up the slide animation, add the notifies, add the word slide to the array, and boom, works beautifully. And don't forget that my asset comes with other surfaces, so switch some things up and boom, you got immersive footsteps mixed with the open world locomotion pack. I hope you're able to find this video helpful. I know the open world locomotion asset features climbing, and I'll definitely be adding in additional sockets for hands so that you can get particles to spawn there as well. If you're experienced with blueprints, then it shouldn't be too hard to figure out, but you can definitely count on it for an update down the line. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.